Hi everybody, this is Margaret Floyd Berry, founder and chief nutritionist here at Eat Naked. And my job is to inspire and help you feel even better in your body than you even knew possible. So today I'm gonna to answer a question we got in from Elena. And that question is, how do you know if you're absorbing your food? And this is a great question because we spend a ton of money on this awesome organic nutrient dense food and if you're not absorbing it and your body's not getting that full benefit of it you're you could be quite literally just flushing that money down the toilet and of course that's what none of us want so there are basically two key ways you can go about this um, one is a little bit more sort of quote-unquote scientific and the other is something that you can do at home so one way to do this is to do formal stool testing and you'd have to work with your practitioner on this um, but different stool tests have different types of markers that will tell you if you are digesting and absorbing your proteins your fats your carbohydrates they'll tell you if there are vegetable fibers that are coming through that you haven't absorbed so um, that is one way to do it. Now you would need to be working with a practitioner to do that. To do that. And I'll be completely honest, um, not all tests are created equal and a lot of these markers on these tests aren't actually that helpful or that reliable. So I just wanna put that caveat out there. Um, another thing that you can tell when you use stool tests is the level of digestive enzyme output. In different tests you look at different enzymes um, as the marker of that, but your body's ability to produce enzymes is very critical in its ability to break down the food into those nutrients and then absorb those nutrients into your body. So, um, so that's another way to do it. So way one, number one is through testing. The other way to do it is a little less glamorous or a lot less glamorous, um, but honestly can be as helpful if not more helpful, which is just a look in the toilet bowl after you've taken um, a poop. Just, there it is, look in the toilet bowl. I know none of us really wanna get up close and um, maybe familiar with our bowel movements, but it's actually really educational about what's going on in your digestive tract. So the first thing you wanna be looking for is do you see evidence of your dinner in the toilet bowl? Um, if you're seeing bits of undigested food, that's not a good thing. And that is basically telling you that no, you are not digesting your food. Another thing is, is your stool floating? or is it sinking? When it's floating, there's actually a sign that you're not digesting your fats properly and fats are part of what make it a little bit buoyant. So that's another thing to look for. Um, but getting in that habit of actually taking a look once you've done your business, taking a look in the toilet bowl and seeing what's going on there, um, it's one of those pieces of really starting to understand and get familiar with what's going on in our body. Um, not glamorous, as I said, but it can be really helpful to get a sense of what's going on. And you can see it change with different things that you eat, um, with how much water that you're drinking or not drinking. You can see how the consistency, the texture, the visual appearance of that um, stool um, is changing based on that. So that's another really important thing you could do. Now, one of the, there's a couple of foods that if you eat um, will almost always show up in your poop. Number one is corn. So if you see corn kernels in your poop, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not digesting all of your food. That's pretty common if you eat corn to see it show up. Um, another one is beets. Although you can use eating beets as a really good sense of how well you're digesting your poop, just to see the degree of how much that's showing up. So you might have had this experience where you eat some beets and maybe you urinate and you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? This is like deep pink or, you know, if you've ever had the um, unfortunate experience of having um, any kind of blood in the urine, sometimes, you know, if you have that situation, the doctor, one of the first questions they're going to ask you is, did you eat beets? Because um, eating beets will definitely color your urine. Um, it will also color the stool to a certain degree, but you don't want it to do that too much. And there's different levels of this. So if you have eaten some beets, beads and the next time you have a bowel movement it is like you know all the water in the toilet is discolored or there's this like really deep kind of ring of you know purple or deep pink around your stools that's telling you that you're not actually absorbing and digesting those key nutrients so that's another way you can do it is you can um, take the beet test um, so I hope that that has been helpful for you. You know, if you're worried about whether you're digesting your food and absorbing your food properly, the two key things that you can do, you know, number one, absolute most important, which honestly, so few of us, myself included, I'm going to totally call myself out here, 
most of us don't eat slowly enough or thoroughly enough in that we're eating on the go. We're you know, we've got one bite of food in our mouths, we're chewing it, and we haven't even finished and swallowed that bite of food before we're shoveling in the next bite. Um, I ask my clients all the time, you know, would you describe yourself as a slow, medium, or fast eater? And I would say 90% or more people, when they first start working with me, their answer is fast eater. We just live in this world where we're constantly moving so quickly, and that absolutely translates to how we eat. So one of the most important things you can do, slow down, take a breath, eat your food, ideally sitting down, and really chew it properly. You have a little saying in the field where you want to chew your liquids and drink your solids. So that gives you a sense of what you're going here. I'm not going to give you an arbitrary number of, you know, chew each bite 30 times or something like that. Um, a really good way to do this and will force you to slow down more than it even sounds possible is to take a bite of your dinner, put down your cutlery, your fork, your knife, or if you're holding the food, put it down and don't put anything else into your mouth until you have thoroughly chewed and swallowed that first bite. Just making that one change is going to slow you down significantly and really get you thinking about whether you have thoroughly chewed that food. Um, and you know, that, that mechanical process of breaking down the food is so important. If we don't do that sufficiently and there's sort of these big chunks of things that you're getting into our stomach, it just makes the rest of the digestive process have to work so much harder to get that work done. So the thing that you can control really easily is the pace of your eating and how thoroughly you're chewing your food. The next thing you can do is, if you're really worried about it, um, you could add some digestive enzyme support. Now, I'm saying this with a big old caveat that I'm not a believer in sort of basic over-the-counter digestive enzymes. By far, not all digestive enzymes are created equal, so I would really recommend to work with your practitioner to figure out the enzymes that your body needs and that you should be taking um, because it's different from individual to individual. Um, and you want to get yourself, your, you want to get your hands on some really good quality enzymes so that it's not just um, one more thing you're flushing down the toilet, quite literally. I hope this has been helpful. Um, we will post links. Will we post links? I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> I hope this has been helpful. Um, Elena, thank you for your great question, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, me again. So two quick things I forgot. Number one, I would love to hear from you and hear about how you know if you're digesting your food. So if you have any tricks and tips on figuring that out other than what I've suggested, and also do you believe based on your uh, toilet bowl test that you are digesting your food? Um, and secondly, if you have questions for me that you'd like me to answer, feel free to email us at any time or post them in the comments below. Um, that's probably the best way to do it. Post those in the comments below and we will um, we'll make sure to answer those. Thanks so much.